Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? I wanted to take a moment to talk about Nicki Minaj's sister because I don't know. Um, Lil Miss Ming. I thought it was Ming Lee, but I guess she's not calling herself Ming Lee. She's Ming something, child. But the girl has gotten her image together. It appears to me, in my opinion, just opinionated. I don't know how true this might be. It's just my opinion. But I think that her and Nicki done sat down and had a conversation, child. They had a conversation. They sat down and they really got into some things because Nikki must have told her listen sis you are a reflection of me okay you can't be out here just looking ditzy looking dumb looking stupid okay you want to do this rap thing I'm gonna show you how to do it big sis gonna show you how to do it it could be that because her looks have completely transitioned change child a girl is a snack now she is beautiful always was beautiful but it's like now she you know getting the budget together getting her looks together getting her hair together getting i don't know who she got behind her some sort of like record company then got behind her and said listen this is Nicki minaj's sister all these different rap girls coming in you know we have to have our hands on Nicki's sister okay we have to push her because in the game she's a good look okay she's a good look because she already has that major it doesn't matter she and Nikki beefing it don't matter if they cool it don't matter nothing but the fact is she got ties to the biggest female rapper you know since little Kim second to Barty in my opinion just my opinion it may not be for some people but the record companies is getting smart on her and putting real money behind her and it, it's also her getting right with Nikki because somebody got in her ear and said listen sis you gotta have like have that conversation with your sis you know what I'm saying give the oh I've been bullied because she's now doing interviews talking about some I've been bullied and people bullied me for being Nikki Minaj's sister play to that sympathy card okay get your stuff together okay and you know you could be a big name stop playing with your career stop playing playing with your name and ever since the little Ming girl got it together now that's just one part of it child she is just messy too child do y'all know that this girl is over here I don't know what didn't happen what got into her head child but she out here allegedly dating Cardi B's ex-boyfriend Tommy you remember love and hip-hop Tommy the one that was in jail that when she was dealing or cool or whatever was going on with her and DJ self or you know the storyline that they put together because Cardi said it was a storyline they put together it was never true you know whatever it was um she had tommy she was like tommy's in jail tommy this tommy that she was going hard for tommy on love and hip-hop yeah that tommy so allegedly child this girl got like cardi's nails on not cardi's nails but cardi inspired design nails on and she's standing sitting right next to like cardi's ex you know boyfriend and my thing is what (laughs) you is just looking a mess child what is going on why are you next to tommy and i feel like people could date whoever they want to date you know i guess it's just something in the camp okay because foxy brown who nikki have publicly stated was one of her inspirations growing up foxy out here claiming you know she was messing around with or is mess was messing around which i want to say is too because they still calling each other big mama and papa and all of that you know with Lil kim's baby father when he was 16 i said i wouldn't you know i wouldn't admit that i would ne- was never gonna claim that i messed around with somebody at 16 i don't care how how many ties they got with the ops but it seemed like it's just a current thing that they do on that side okay the girls on that side on nikki's side her friends are they it's it's common to mess with somebody man allegedly she was cool with them strippers made friends with them strippers had them strippers up in the video allegedly you know and then dumb girls was alleged to be messing around with offset so i guess that's just how they move you know that's like a thing with them like mm, you know mess with this girl's man sleep with this you know it's like a thing with them so ming is allegedly messing around with tommy cardi's ex child you really want to go there get offset it seems like offset been out here just doing my good sis wrong and I, i'm not here for you know somebody messing with marriage but if hell if you're gonna really you trying to get in cardi's feelings she don't care about tommy she don't that was a long time ago shoot she's what's that um show she's um the the one with dmx tommy (laughs) she's she's over tommy okay she's she got a whole kid uh, like kids a couple of kids with this other person 
She not caring about Tommy. Sleep with Tommy all you want to. But the fact that you even went that route, I think it's messy, child. I think it's something to be said about that Ming girl. But Ming's been getting her looks together and playing into the sympathy card. You know what I'm saying? She's saying that she's getting her music off the rip. I don't think, in my opinion, she looks like Nikki. In my opinion, she's a pretty girl. She's a very beautiful girl, in my opinion. But I don't think she looks like Nikki. I'm sorry. She wants to, you know, out here try to give the, um, um you know, looks at like the the roman looks or whatever she she does not look like Nicki minaj to me i don't care what y'all say y'all not finna gas me up to have me thinking that this girl look like Nicki minaj Nicki, in my opinion don't look like too hard like her father Nicki looks like her mother to me like a sprinkle of her father of course something different is in there but she really looks like her mom and her mom miss carol is looking beautiful at this age in my opinion Nicki looks more like her mother maybe you looking like her brother because her brother look like he might be looking like the father okay but for you to sit over here, oh, I, people say I look like Nikki. They gassed you up and they lied multiple times. They lied, child. No. Somebody told you you were hot. Somebody told you you were popping. Somebody told you and they lied several times. You do not. You're nothing of the sort. Nothing. Because Nikki is gorgeous. Okay. Nikki got timeless beauty. She is fine as hell, in my opinion. And Ming don't give me Nikki Minaj. She doesn't. Okay, maybe it's another, you know, Asian aesthetic that you're trying to go for, child. But she don't give me Nicki Minaj. But she definitely been getting her looks together now. She is a pretty girl. I'm not going to sit over here and talk about that young girl like she ain't pretty. But the fact is, Tommy just came from jail, boo. Tommy just came from jail. So Tommy out of jail and you just turned 18. It's giving jail bait. It's giving what the hell, child. Like, y'all, you was talking to him when he was in the joint? You was building that, you know, momentum? You was building because you was setting it up so that way you can be able to really be out here like that? You just, I'm hot in the twat? Like, just... I don't know because you too damn young to be and then you had his jacket on talking about something oh you you ain't getting their bag boo 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 girl uh and my thing is I don't know if it's just me and y'all like this isn't like don't take this personal I'm gonna just give my opinion on this I don't know if it's just me but every time this girl talk it's cringeworthy it's like mm, because I don't feel like she being herself I feel like she putting on and I don't like that like her her she first of all her real hair is gorgeous she got really beautiful curly hair thick curly hair gorgeous girl show yourself be who you are it just feels like she's trying to put on like the aesthetic of Nikki you know trying to have a heavy Nikki aesthetic when you could just be your own individual there's pretty and beautiful things about you just be yourself in all of her pictures it just it wasn't giving that like it seemed like you ain't never ever really wore wigs and we, we like you just wasn't doing that when you was younger you was very natural hair beautiful girl you know long natural hair gorgeous girl but now that you're here all of a sudden you want to cosplay Nicki Minaj you want to be a and Ice Spice do it too often so I like I see the the way in which you're like oh if other girls are benefiting off of my sister brand why not I benefit because you're heavily Nicki coded and the thing is you could be your own person you keep screaming in every interviews like I'm Nicki Minaj's sister but I'm also Ming I'm also Ming I'm also Ming if that's the case and you are also Ming and you want to stand on your own why Every time you do an interview, every time you step outside, you feel the need to bring up Nikki. I have the answer to that, though. I feel as though the reason she does that is because ain't nobody taking a second look at her without Nicki Minaj being mentioned. Point blank, period. You're a nobody. You haven't built up your brand or put in enough work for people to give a damn about what you're talking about. You, like a lot of these other girls, a lot, feel as though Ice Spice feel as though you can just scream nikki 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 and people gonna be looking and it worked for a little bit but if people peep and start really catching on that oh every time she say nikki we look oh this girl just doing that for attention you gonna stop getting attention i just don't think that she like all this music stuff, i'm 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 do you i i want to be a musician i'm 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 talented i'm t stand on your own put some stuff so we can see that you're talented you're talented at looking at like nikki minaj like a lot of these girls you're talented at like having the Nicki Minaj image like a lot of these girls, but we don't know who Ming is and we're not like you're not enticing enough. Your personality ain't, you know, important enough. It ain't given personality. A lot of these girls lackluster personality at all. And then they be like, oh, well, we just going to throw a Nicki Minaj, get a Nicki Minaj cosign, try to use Nicki in order to gain momentum. And we all see it. Everybody see it. So my thing is, it's not going to work, Ming. It's not. Okay, that whole I'm Nicki Minaj's sister, I'm Nicki Minaj's sister, I'm Nicki Minaj's sister is going to die down at some point. 
then what you got because if you don't have nothing else the packaging ain't there but that you listen one thing about them labels they making sure the packaging there so you might girl <laughs> you might have to ignore this video and you might really brand and boss up later on but as of right now you have to have something else so hopefully you got some talent you know what i'm saying you got some size to go with that meat you know, because um, it's not just going to, I'm Nicki Minaj's sister. It's not just going to sell you. You have to have more. You have to have talent. You have to be entertaining enough. And it's so unfortunate because Nicki is a total, like, full-on package. Nicki Minaj is not just a pretty face. Nicki Minaj is not just talented. She got the personality out of this world. She's entertaining. She's funny. Her, like, her entire mannerisms, all of that, like, her her characters, she create these different characters. And it's heavily Lil' Kim coded. You peep, you see it. You know what I'm saying if you picked somebody that wasn't as talented or did not have more on their plate you know to offer the world then you can really be able to play into that but the fact is she's so talented it it, it brings up, out more expectations from you it's like when um whitney houston daughter decided that she wanted to sing those, those are some heavy shoes to feel and she was feeling some type of way you know what i'm saying because she felt like man i could never be as good as my mom people are not understanding that i'm my own person whatever they're expecting my mom because that's the, the downside about having somebody who has like such a big you know personality who the people love because if you're gonna step into those shoes you gotta step don't walk don't you know what i'm saying you have to really step so that's just all i'm saying but y'all tell me what y'all think about ming i love y'all bye oh if this person was your sister why did she do this for you why did she do that for you and it's like at a young age it's like you don't know how to answer questions like those i never needed her to help me get to my mm. goal i just needed her to see that i can do it and she can be proud of me without mm. having to think that i needed to have an easy way to get to the top is that important to you to feel that sense of independence to do it yourself it really is important to me. I used to have this urge of just trying to like impress my sister. I'm not going to lie. I always had this urge to impress her because anybody else, I wouldn't give a f out. So what's your current relationship with Nikki? We was never close. She was like always like busy. She'd be busy and stuff like that. I'd be doing my sh too. Like even though people do think that like we are not cool, we're going to argue. I'm not going to lie. Me, like my sister do be getting mad at me. But this is nothing new. Like, siblings don't fight. What you be doing, man? Yeah, I was make gonna a say, man. Why Listen, bro. Why do you think Listen, you bro. Why you man? Man is just Ming, bro. Respectfully. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. I'll be getting everyone tight, bro. People were saying that y'all look just alike. Do you think you guys look like twins? I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Wait. <laughs> do the face. Oh, let me see you. Let me see you do a face. Let me see you do the face. Hey! And so for the people that don't know, you and Nicki Minaj are half sisters through your father, correct? Yeah, through my father, exactly. We have the same dad. She was a good sister. Like she did check up on me, my dad from time to time. Like she always made sure that we was like, you know, at least good situated in a way. Like it doesn't matter if she was distant or not. She was still like, you know, being there. She was still making sure that we was all good. Like I don't have no hate towards her. And if people think that I do, that's that's the y'all problem, not mine. <laughs> do you think that like Nicki may be trying to protect you from like I the bad so. side Absolutely. of the music industry? My sister always wanted to like let me know that people are really dirty in the music industry right. it's always family at the end of the day no matter how much we argue fight it got nothing to do with mm -hmm. anyone else but us we still gonna be family at the end of the day further on i will not be no longer known as Nicki minaj's little sister i'm known as ming luan lee and right now i'm going to do big things with myself without having to get secret help any type of easy help i'm going to work my way to the top and all these rumors where if i care about any type of beef or drama has nothing to do with me what i want to work on is my music i want to work on my career i want to do something with my life i want to make better choices i want to be better and yeah um i appreciate all the love and support and stuff like that and i just want to say just like love the songs love the two songs we have out now and yeah i've been seeing a lot of my exes and shit they be hitting me up they be trying to look they be trying to um start beef i be seeing comments they be commenting under my niggas when they post about my nigga or my, my fiance they be commenting under they be trying to get with me and it's just like for what first of all i'm a whole pregnant bitch i'm gonna have a wedding soon why don't you just move on like it's like i don't understand like a lot of, like these niggas right my exes right and so it's really whack that you realize that they whack and they trash they, they corny, not even trash, they, they corny after you start dating them. Because there's some exes that I cannot say that they trash or like they corny because they really move on. But the ones that be trying to look for clout or they be trying to get back with me, why do you want to get back with me? You cannot do anything for me. If I have a kid with you, you cannot maintain my kid. If I date you, what can you provide for me besides dick? You can't help me with my life. You can't help me with my career. We cannot go half and half on the house. You can't even buy me a decent ring. You can't even buy me a decent gift. So why is it that you so thirsty 
for you that, that you want to get back with me because I'm a celebrity. You need to be realistic and know that you can the type of girls that you cannot that you can't afford or not. You know you can't afford me. You know you can't deal with me. So why is it that you, you we live both different lifestyles? Why is it that you want to be with me? Do you think that dick? Do you think that penis? It's enough. We are not young anymore. I'm. We're not twenty. We're not twenty-one. I'm a twenty-five-year-old bitch. I'm 25, going to be 26, and I'm going to be a mother. What is it that you think that you can provide for me besides dick? You don't got your life together. You don't have a fucking car. You don't have a house. You can't. You probably don't even have credit to buy a house. So why is it that y'all think y'all good enough to try to break my relationship and try to get with me? What is it that you're going to give me? What is it that you're going to give me? Because I'm a grown woman. What you think that you could give me? You cannot even be, you cannot be with a, a, a relationship with a woman like me. We cannot go half on our future. Because you, your future and mine are not the same. That shit gets me so hot. So hot. So hot. Like, just leave me alone. I be leaving y'all niggas alone. You know what? When a nigga be leaving a bitch, bitches be going mad crazy and stalking the nigga. Try to break their relationship with the try to break their relationship but niggas be doing the same thing too and i cannot believe that these niggas are so bitch made leave me alone i have a whole fucking baby inside of me i'm public with my dude what is it that y'all want your dick it's not worth me fucking with you y'all niggas think that y'all have to, a golden dick that is like oh yeah i'm gonna forget that I, I'm in a relationship with a nigga and I'm gonna try to work it out with you and gain what from it? What am I gonna gain fucking around with you? 